the Garraf, a mountain range located in the province of Barcelona, Catalonia, is a region of great importance for speleology in this autonomous community of Spain. Speleology, which refers to the study and exploration of caves and caverns, finds in the Garraf a rich and diverse terrain for this activity. Here are some key reasons that highlight the importance of the Garraf for caving in Catalonia. The Garraf is home to a wide variety of underground cavities, ranging from small caves to more complex cave systems. This diversity of subterranean formations provides opportunities for speleological research and exploration at various levels of difficulty and experience. The Gareth has been an area of interest for caving for decades. This has led to the development of a community of local and visiting cavers who have contributed to the knowledge and documentation of the caves and their geology in the region. The Gareth Caves offer opportunities for scientific research in various disciplines, such as geology, hydrology, biology and archaeology. The unique geological formations and the presence of fauna adapted to subterranean environments make these caves of great scientific interest. The entrance to the cave had to be unblocked, as well as the Orpella passage located a little further down, leading to a shaft one meter wide, which descends to a width of six meters. Progressing through the narrow passage is slow and complicated. The ropes, carabiners, and other equipment we use to descend add to the difficulty. At a depth of minus 30 meters, there is a landing on one side which gives access to the Fidel room. And to some narrow shafts, which end up linking up with the final part of the JL Puerta shaft, which is the shaft we went down from the detour to the Fidel room. At the base of the shaft, at a depth of minus 63 meters, we find a narrow passage, which had to be unblocked. A ledge gives access to a low ceilinged landing from which we access the GESG shaft at minus 38 meters. This shaft quickly widens, acquiring considerable dimensions that are maintained almost to the base, where it slightly widens its section. At minus 102 meters, we find a short gallery that leads to the head of a cul-de-sac. On the other side, from this blind shaft, there is access to a very muddy and shallow ramp, after a small ledge, which leads to a small funnel measuring 0.70 by 0.20 meters that acts as a sump. Oh. In this type of cavity it is common to find toxic air. The gas meter will warn us in case of danger. We cannot let our guard down.
We are at the point of maximum depth of the cavity at minus 110 meters. The air here is often rarefied. The cavity was discovered in December 2016 by members of G.E.S. Gareth, Sidges. It was a small hole of 25 centimeters in diameter through which a slight current of air passed. After several unblockings along the cavity, finally in 2018, although the excavations have not been completed yet, the cavity was found to have a diameter of only 25 centimeters. There were moments during the descent where the gas marker gave us wrong data. We slowly approach the end of the cavity. The descent is slow. We have to pay close attention to the installations. Some of them are in quite a bad state due to the humidity and we have to take extreme precautions. It is necessary to re-secure some anchor points, a fall is something we don't want to suffer. The consequences would be fatal.
the end of the cavity. We take the last video shots and get ready to leave. We still have a few hours to see the sunlight again. But first, we stop to visit the beautiful room, Fidel. been worth it this far. Beautiful formations become visible in the light of our headlamps. Stalactites, lava flows, fistulas, stalagmites, all arranged in that magical way that only nature is capable of achieving. We leave the Sala Fidel, and once again, darkness reigns once again.
seguridad con el asqueño. We are at the end of the cave. This area is the most difficult to manage. The narrow passages force us to use all our energy. In these cases, mastery of technique and a good dose of cold blood are essential to avoid getting trapped. <laughs> 